Hey, Jeff with Trax Tech here today. We're finishing up our rigging process uh, on this Crestliner Authority 2050, 2017 for John Bergsma, Fisherman's Digest uh, TV program that we've been involved with now. And one of our really uh, key things that most people forget about when we're helping them rig a boat uh, is rod storage and net storage, two real com key components that everybody always seems to either forget about or have issues with on the boat. So um, this is a... a, a a unit that we've developed quite a few years ago now. Um, just a solid aluminum unit that can be hard mounted inside the boat in a particular location or we can use it with a track application. We make this in a three and a four bank of rod holders for rod storage. We can stand fishing rods up here when we're getting them prepared, getting them ready to go fishing. Drop a set of player players in the top of here, put our net in here when we're back here by ourselves, net and fish. So uh, um, these provide a lot of different opportunities on the boat. In this boat right now, uh, we've got this nice live well tank in front and between the live well and the front wall here, there's about an inch and a half of clearance in here. So what we've developed on this boat for the last couple of years is we've always taken and hard mounted this rod storage setup down here. But I'm gonna show everybody this year what we're doing is um, a three bank is made to use in conjunction with an 18 inch track and this is a four unit and it's made to use a 24 inch track. So we've taken and I've measured everything off. I've marked my holes. I've drilled them and now we're going to use our track that standardly everybody knows that we use up here in a in a, uh, ver a horizontal application up on top of the gunnel wall and we're going to take this and use it in a vertical application down here on the side of the wall and we're going to show you I'm going to rivet this whole track set up right on here the same as I did on the gunnel walls just because it's enclosed and there's a tank inside there but we can drop the rivets through lock that on and that's going to allow this rod storage setup to slide right inside here and be removable on the back so if we want to use this boat for our fishing applications and when we're done we want to take it out and go tubing and skiing with our family and enjoy the day out on the water without any fishing equipment or these rod holders in the back just by adding this piece of track to it great way to be able to slide the rod holders out of there and then we're going to show you that we do a uh, black starboard insert that'll slide right inside there clean the track up dress it up and there'll be nothing open or exposed in there so um, we'll show you the whole thing when it's all done and put together in just a minute All right, here we are. We just talked about mounting our 24 inch track on the back side of this uh, little live well area here in this uh, Crestliner Authority. So we've got the track all mounted up. As you can see, that's all nice and solid and secure. Lots of other things we can still do with that, but showing a track in this uh, horizontal application now instead of up on the top of the wall. And we're using this in conjunction with our rod storage rack that we're putting in here today. So um, this can be mounted, has the holes for mounting this solid, or we're showing it today in this application where it's mounted inside the track. I gotta add the thumb screws I have in there for holding it in place, but this is just showing you the, the ease and convenience of utilizing the track, how this was designed in conjunction with the rod storage rack in here. Now we've got a place to put our fishing poles, store a net in here, like I said. The coolest thing is why we showed you with mounting this track on here is we could actually take this off when we're done fishing, store this away, and then we make this marine grade starboard pad that's designed to slide right in inside that track fills up the 24 inch length we tighten these screws up with a screwdriver and that's it when you're done fishing that's how neat and clean it looks when you're all done now our boat is set up and we're ready to go tubing and skiing and go out on the water today running around and we don't have the rod rack in the back so if somebody wanted to sit on here or lean against it them rods are completely out of the way so just another way of showing you how convenient things can work together if you truly think about it during your mounting applications and your boat rigging process